Okay, here's number three. A first order reaction is 45% complete in 25 minutes. How much time would be required to complete 80% uh, 80 of the reaction? So <clears throat> the key to doing this problem is using the integrated rate law. And we want to find what the K is, the rate constant. And then we want to use that rate constant to solve the problem. <clears throat> so we have the uh, integrated rate equation, natural log of A at time 0 minus the natural log of A at time t is going to be equal to k times t. If we divide both sides of this equation by the time, we get the expression for the rate constant. And we can plug in values here. Now, if something's 45 percent complete. So first of all, the initial amount is going to be 100 percent. Okay? The amount that reacts is 45 percent. So, you know, 100 minus 45 is the amount that remains. Okay, so that's 55. So if we plug all these in, we have the natural log of the amount initially, which is 100. Okay. And if 45% goes away or reacts, it means that 55% of it is remaining. That's the concentration or the amount. And we divide that by the time. It says 25 minutes here. Okay. And we want to go ahead and now uh, punch this into our calculator. And um, let's see what we get. Divide by 25. And I get a value for the rate constant of 0 0.055 per minute. Okay, that's very important. Now, we're going to go ahead and um, solve this next problem. We're starting with 100%, okay? That's the amount initially. And it's going to react, and 80% is going to react. So that means we're going to be left with 20% remaining at time t. So let's go ahead, and again, we want to know how much time that is. So we start out with the integrated rate equation here. We divide both sides of this equation by k. We know what k is. And that's going to be um, an expression for the time. So in this case, um, we plug things in, see what we get. So uh, natural log of A naught is, uh, you know, ln of 100, okay, minus ln of 20. And we divide all that by the K, 0.055 per minute. And let's go ahead and punch that into our wonderful calculator. And the time here is going to be equal to 29.3 minutes. And I'll just leave it uh, two sig figs. Okay, so that's how you